Roll the motherfucking cameras. Today's episode. <laughs> so we just launched all of my 2024 tour dates and we just realized that today, a year ago, I did my first 10 minute set at a comedy club opening for uh, Monet Exchange at the comedy club here in Birmingham. And it has literally been one singular year. One singular year since then, and I have a sold out theater tour, and we're going to London, and we're going to the UK. Oh, I already said that, same place. We're going to Canada, we're, we're doing all the things. So, anybody that says I'm just a flash in the pan can suck my ass, how about that? You see this? Birmingham, Alabama, July 20th. I am filming my first special. My very first special. We have a meeting today with the production company for that. They have filmed a million specials. They did um, Leanne Morgan's special. Oh, okay, so they've done Kevin Hart. Oh my God, Robin Williams. Okay. This will be the end of my When That Thing Gets a Thing in tour. And I thought what better way to end the tour in the same state that we started the tour in my hometown of Birmingham. And we're gonna see who picks it up. Cause somebody's gonna, somebody, somebody's gonna pick it up, okay? I'm manifesting it now. I'm putting it out there now in the universe. Somebody's buying it. It's being purchased and I'm gonna be rich. I don't know when, but I'm gonna be rich. Mark my words. Okay, shit, I gotta go feed so I can get to work. I'm hungry. Hello, MTV. Welcome to my crib. Not really. But come in anyway. Come in, bitch, damn. This is my store, so I'm sure you guys see it online all the time. You see all the all the stories and all the things. This is where all of the magic happens. This is where everything is sold out. Hee <laughs> hee, because y'all sold our shit out on Black Friday. This is Emily. Baby girl put some makeup on and did that hair today. Hey, you told she's, me not to look busted. She's, tr she's trying to make sure she looks right and tight. Um, this is Lynn. Y'all know her already. Girl, I don't remember your name. Kate. Kate, this is, she, this is Kate, she's new. So I don't remember her name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me give you a tour of the warehouse space. So over here, we have all of the candles um, for everybody that's late to the game and doesn't know already, we do have a non-toxic natural candle line it's incredible it's all the things it's everything okay it's everything so if you don't want to get cancer my candles are the way to go um we have all of our hoodies here so these are all of the happy whatever the fuck day it is hoodies that you see i hate it here um all of we have obviously new warehouse shelving that's going up tour t-shirts for when we're on tour these are the shirts that we have um, it's a whole situation. So this is the candle room. This is where all of your candles are, are made and, and cleaned and labeled and poured and the whole situation. Um, this is Candle Godmother, as you guys know her. I know her as Auntie. What y'all doing today? Um, we're about to pour a hobble pie. Everything that we had in here is out in inventory. This is today's inventory. This Beautiful. And then we gotta finish pouring for the restock, we have four cents left on restock and tour. All the tour merch has to be poured. Beautiful. Come to a show and buy a candle. That's a titty on the wall. Don't look at that. <laughs> Do not look at the titty. Our kitchen, our little break area. It's so bougie and glamorous. Um, our all, well, Lynn and Rob's office. It's also a mess. Um, Let's go upstairs. Here we are. <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, this is the studio. So this is where we shoot all of our boudoir sessions. Um, we, we moved here sometime, August, I think. So this is our new building. Uh, it is all the things, it's amazing. This is 
This is my favorite piece of furniture ever here. This is my, my mirror. Um, but this is where all the magic happens for boudoir sessions. This is our office. Here's the shitter, in case you gotta do that. This is BB. Everybody knows her. This is hair and makeup and our reveal space. This is Lauren, this is our glam goddess. Uh, this is Bethany, this is our client for today. She's shooting with Brie. Oh, I didn't even know she put the little, look, look how bougie we are. We, didn't, we ain't always been this bougie. Uh, Bethany has actually shot with me previously. She shot with me when I was at my house, right? Didn't, yeah, that, she shot with me when I was shooting at my house. Babe, we have glowed up. Started from the bottom, now we're here. This situation, this would be peanuts for our store downstairs. <laughs> so we just bought this building, and baby, we already ran out of space. So um, bathroom and stuff down there. So we're in the studio today. We are doing a boudoir session with Bethany. Uh, Brie is shooting today, so I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I have been shooting for over a decade, and I do still shoot, but because of my tour schedule and kind of everything that is kind of happening in the business world and life and entertainment and all the things, Brie has uh, stepped up and she is shooting more. And I have to say, she is absolutely incredible like a lot of people don't want to shoot with Brie because they want to shoot with me because they want to meet me and and I'm here for that because I love meeting my clients too like and I started this business I'm here for that I totally understand but people literally are doing themselves a disservice by not shooting with Brianna because she is fire like she is magic she's incredible like her posing she honestly I say she's better than I am because like she's she just loves this so much and she's so incredible in the way that she uses light and all the things like now our shooting styles are a little different as far as like how we are and how we interact with our clients i'm more like goofy and like you know between your time of this where brie is more nurturing and kind and if you're nervous and you're like you've never done this before and you're really nervous to do this uh you know brie is definitely probably the girl you want to shoot with because she's 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 a mom so she's a nurturer Matt is not. Matt, Matt, Matt is not. So uh, we're really excited for this. I'm excited for you to get to see behind the scenes of reshooting and how this whole thing goes. And then we're going to do the reveal. So we do same day image reveals with our clients, which means once you come and you shoot your session, you go eat lunch for about two hours and then you come back uh, and you get to see all of your images on a video and you get to choose all of your products. So it's an incredible day of just magic happening here at Matt Matthews. So let's, uh, let's get it done. I'm signing prints. Adding, Adding to inventory. Signed prints have now been restocked. I need, oh, I cannot keep signing these with this shitty marker. They will get returned. They, look at that. <laughs> His signature is like barely legible. <laughs> ah, based off the orders that we have had returned this week, that will happen. God, I remember we just gave them an idea. Don't, don't try to send no damn signed print back talking about the marker did not mark well enough because I will cuss you out. Hey, I'm Bethany. Right now, I am a little nervous, but more excited than nervous. It's been a long time since I've done a boudoir shoot, but I remember how I felt the last time I did it, and so that's where the excitement comes in for sure. The first time I did a boudoir shoot, I was just in a really crappy place in my current relationship at the time, and that was back in 2016. Since 2016, I have gone through a divorce, had a baby, had two miscarriages. I am a completely different human, and so it is time for me to be able to see myself through that lens again and completely change my view on myself. You know, your self-worth gets drugged through the mud when life happens, and I know that this is the one surefire way to make me See myself as the boss ass bitch that I am. Boudoir is definitely a life changing experience. There's nothing that I've ever done that compares to it. From the moment Lauren turns you around and you see yourself in the mirror after she's done your hair and makeup to how you are talked through the shoot and what you feel like when you get to sit down at your reveal. It is something that I have done multiple times now because of the confidence boost it gives me. I know deep down that I'm the boss ass bitch that I am, 
but this is a way that brings that back to the surface and I'm reminded and it's always good to have that reminder and I 100% have sent so many of my friends to do it because there's nothing like being made to feel like you're the most beautiful person in the room. Today I get to do a shoot with Brie and I'm so excited. As soon as you walk in, Brie, before like hair and makeup, Brie makes you feel so comfortable. I was able to open up to her about everything that I've been through in the past several years and tell her my goals for today and how I want the way I see myself to change and why I'm here. And she made me feel so comfortable. I'm very excited um, to get to do this with her because there's something so different about a woman who can connect to another woman and what we've been through. And she's been through some of the same struggles, not the exact same, but some of the same things. And so she can relate to me in a way that a lot of people can't. All right, so now we are about to walk through Bethany's outfits and kind of plan where we want to shoot what. So, come on. Walk me through what you brought. Show me which one's your favorite. Okay, so this is right. I brought two different black ones, but this is probably my favorite black one. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, cool. And then this one's not a one piece, but it's my favorite, like, okay. bra and panties. I love that. That's different. The color's different. Okay, um, so this one I do have concern. Like, I think it's really pretty, but it's kind of bright. Mm -hmm. So sometimes bright colors can pick up weird on camera. So, like, we can wear it and take a few, but I don't know that it's going to look the best. Mm -hmm. This color, though, photographs. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, good. Let's start in the green. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll let you get dressed. We wash the sheets between every client. <laughs> so just as a reminder, you're going to be a mouth breather. I just want you to breathe out of your okay. mouth as if your nose is clogged. You'll be arching the whole time, so you will be sore. And then I'll basically just put you in a pose and work my way around you so I get dark and moody and fully lit photos. Okay. So if you need to come out of the pose, come out of it. I don't want you to get a cramp or anything. Okay. okay? Cool. But here, legs are staggered, probably in every pose. Okay. But like I said, I'll tell you everything. Um, heads back, and then let's do hands up into your hair. Okay. Pretty. Okay. Look at your face. Like, your face is perfection. Yes. Uh. So now let's just do pull straps here and hold them. Okay. Lean your head back just a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. You gonna look at me? Okay, so now let's go onto all fours here. Okay. Turn up just a little bit more. So she's gonna go change outfit number two. So it's really good to have a couple options to wear because like Bethany, she brought one that was a little too bright for shooting sometimes. Colors can just show up weird on camera. So it was a little too bright, but she had several options so it wasn't an issue at all. But also, if we have a sheet we're, I could shoot sheet poses all day, all day long. They're beautiful. But as long as we have a sheet in one outfit or two outfits, you're golden. Okay, so I want your shoulders like up here, not like this. Okay, so shoulders up, legs staggered, and then head back. And then for your hands, I want right hand between your thighs, squeezing your legs together. And eyes closed again. Eyes down. I want you to bring the crown of your head to the floor and you can use your, well stagger your legs first, you're already doing it. Use your elbows to help arch your back and then your hands can just go on your boobs. That's perfect. Okay, so we are about to do sheet poses, which are my favorite. I could shoot them all day long. We don't even need an outfit. But I love the sheet poses because they are timeless. If you're gonna get wall art, they match any color that your wall is. I just think that they're the most beautiful and that they will age just really well. So let's do it. Just give me a really big arch. Your hands look good how you're holding it. So arch and then head back and eyes closed. All right, now turn your head this way towards me. Chin up just a little bit. Oh, these are gonna be your favorite too. I can tell. Can I look out the window? Can I look at me again? Beautiful. Okay. Are there any poses you wanted that we have not done? She said, I got a workout. I hope 
Got a whole swing. Got a whole workout done. Okay, that's a wrap. So these are our wax melters. Wax has to be at a certain temperature before it's poured. So we pour it into a jug. And we add fragrance oil, mix it to agitate it, right? Get it to adhere. And then we pour them into our lovely containers. 17 ounces. So this is hand poured. I've done so many thousand candles, I know where to stop. We like a nice full candle at Matt Matthews. You know, go get a half candle, half full container here. Vessel should be full. And then, this is a wick holder. This is the fun part. This is the fiddly bit that nobody likes doing. You have to feed them through and press them down. Give it some pressure, right? So it doesn't move. And then it is set on a shelf to slowly cool. And you can tell the room in here is hot, right? So the hotter the room, the better the candle is going to dry. It's going to dry smooth. It's going to not have air bubbles or any tunneling around the wicks. So. That's how you pour a candle into a container. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I work for Matt Matthews Boutique uh, as a boutique associate. Boutique associate. <laughs> so I actually started out as a fan. I found him on TikTok, and then I applied, not thinking that I would get it, and here we are. I'm Emily, and I'm a boutique associate at Matt Matthews Boutique. Matt wants to know what it's like to work for Matt Matthews. <laughs> um, it's horrible and terrible. I'm just kidding. It's really good. <laughs> He's super fun. Everybody here is really fun. Why do I have to look up? Because I'm look, busy. It'll look good. Okay. Hi, welcome to Life Lessons with Lynn. So I want you guys to remember that you always have the power to make your own decision. That's all I have. You ready? Yeah, I'm excited and nervous. Well, it's okay to be nervous. Most people are more nervous about this than the actual session. So, okay. normal. I'm just gonna play this slideshow for you. Okay. And then from there, we'll just look at the photos individually. Okay, sounds good. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, my Look eyes at your eyes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I love the ones Our you did with the light. light. My, it's awesome. It's my bread and butter. This That's is the, the one, one right there. That's the one you on, love and put on a wall. <laughs> on the wall, it needs to go on the wall. I'm gonna put it in the studio somewhere. Yes, Those I'm heels. glad we did the hills. That was such a good, <laughs> good touch. There's no way people walk in this. Girl, I couldn't even put my foot flat on the no. ground. <laughs> and I love how like, it still looks like me. Like it's not just like, yeah. so smooth. It right. doesn't look real. What'd you think? It's so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. It was so easy and fun. I'm so glad that I did this again. I, did you see her? Like, who is that? It was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you made it so easy. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's get that one on the wall. Yeah. <laughs>